Hello everyone and welcome to another Little University video. Today we are going to be painting with odd paintbrushes. So that means that we're going to paint with all sorts of crazy things around our house. So let's go over what supplies you're going to need to get started. So you're definitely going to need some sort of piece of paper. It could be construction paper or just any plain white piece of paper, whatever you have at your house. You're also going to need some paint. These are the paints that I have, but whatever you have at your house works well. You're also going to want some clothes pins to hold all the materials that you are going to use to paint. And finally, you're going to go all over your house and find things to paint with. So I found a feather, a cotton ball, a pom-pom, a Q-tip, some tissue paper, some old pieces of sponge, and a pipe cleaner. So those are the things that I'm going to use to paint with, but you can choose anything that you want. So I'm going to give you a chance to stop this video and then go find everything that you want to paint with. Okay, ready, set, go. Now that we have all of our materials, we're ready to get started. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we put some paint in some little containers because it's really hard to get our paintbrushes into our big containers, right? So I want you, or, uh, I want you to make sure that you put some paint in the little containers. Then next, I want you to take all the things that you found around your house and put them into your clothespins. So we're gonna clip them in there. So that way it makes it into a paintbrush and we can paint with it. So I'm gonna do that with all of my different materials. I'm gonna make a little blob of my tissue paper. And then I'm gonna put one of my sponges in. Oh, here's my cotton ball. My feather. I'm gonna need some more clothespins. And then we have my Q-tip. Look, that one makes a really long paintbrush now, huh? And finally, I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner in one. So all of those different things are going to make different textures on our paper as we paint. And you can move them around into your uh, clothespins too to make even different, more uh, different textures. Okay, are you ready to get started in painting? Now, you can do this however you would like. And since we're all using different materials, everybody's painting is gonna look a little different. So I'm gonna start with my feather and I'm gonna see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in the red paint and I'm gonna start painting with it. Ooh, makes an interesting texture, huh? It's kind of bumpy. It almost looks like train tracks. Huh. Okay, let's see what else I can draw with. Here's my pipe cleaner. I'm gonna put it into the orange paint because I have an orange pipe cleaner. I'm gonna see what this one does. Oh, wow. That one makes a much smoother texture than the uh, feather. I'm almost starting to make a rainbow. Ooh, now I'm gonna see what happens with this Q-tip. It's very skinny, huh? So let's see what happens. Ooh, oh, look, that one's actually kind of hard to control because the Q-tip is so long, but it's fun to play with, huh? Kind of moves around, makes good squiggly lines. Let's see, now I'm gonna try this cotton ball. Oh, let's see what happens with the cotton ball. Ooh, oh, you know what else I could do with it? Look, I can make it into a dabber. That looks like fun, huh? I'm gonna try another color with that one. That one was fun. Wow, okay, now I have my pom-pom. Do you think it'll be the same or different than the uh, cotton ball? Let's find out. It looks kind of similar, doesn't it? Yeah. It, does, it has more of a pokey texture than the uh, cotton ball does, though, when I uh, do it with the dauber. Yeah, I like that one. Now I'm gonna try my sponge. What are you trying uh, to paint with? 
Oh, this one makes little squares. I love that. I'm going to do some more of those. Bloop, bloop. I'm going to try to paint it. Oh, look it. It makes a totally different texture when I use it like a paintbrush rather than a dauber. And then finally, I'm going to try out this tissue paper. Oh, that one makes a lot of noise. It's kind of fun. Oh, wow. This one looks so cool. Because it makes a really neat, crinkly pattern on my paper. Oh, I like that one a lot. So now you can experiment in however you would like to paint. I used a lot of different colors and I explored. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I think I need some yellow right in here. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I think I might add, do a little bit more with my feather. See what happens here. Oh, I think that came out amazing. Now, I would love to see all of your beautiful paintings too. Thank you so much for painting with me. Thank you so much for joining for me with a, for painting with odd paintbrushes today. I think we made some beautiful paintings. Hold yours up, show it to me. Oh, wow, I love all the colors that you used. That looks amazing. Thank you again for joining me with the Little University Art Program. You can watch more videos like this online on our YouTube page, or you can join us live in person on Thursdays at 3.30 in the afternoon, or on Saturdays at 10.30 in the morning. We also have a Spanish version of this program on Tuesdays at 3.30 in the afternoon. Thank you again for, all, uh, for joining us, and have a great day. Bye.